You know, and 90% of the people going around, you got it, same old boring, same old married couples, that's where it's at. Not, <laughs> not good friends and, uh, and uh, hangers honors and whatever, right? So you want to choose a boat that fits the crew, not the crew to fit the boat, right? So we are coast kippers. We, we believe in equality, and if one's got something up on the other one, that's cool. We, we share it, and it's a fallacy. It drives me friggin' crazy, this captain stuff. <laughs> it drives me crazy. We should be exercising freedom. Here we are in the first week in November. I love our culture. I love our society that allows us to, to be ourselves and to choose our own path and give mutual respect. There's no mutual respect if I'm the captain and you're the puppet. You know, like, like, like you have the right to speak to me. That day, the days of the Lone Ranger, the days of, of Captain Bly are over. Finished. Never going to happen. And we huddle all the time. We... We had all the time, we never yell. The bottom line is you're trying to make your, the rest of the crew look good. You're trying to make the other look, crew look good, and, and there's no laying blame. And it's, it's a utopia. It's, it's a, it's, it, we have, there's no other world out there but us. So the boat is a very social organism, and it's, and it's, it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. Oh, yeah, even the Alpine Club of Canada no longer has leaders, they have coordinators. Hello, oh, oh, cockpit, you know, human resource management. No more is it, I dare not talk about it. You know, I've been on a few mouth trips where I had a guy, next thing you know, I've checked out, I'm walking along doing what I'm told, you don't even know what's going on, right? You, it, that's not why you go there. Yeah, I would never go with, no offense, guys, I'd never go on your boat, though. No. You don't want me, I don't want, I want my own, what my own boat, I, that's what it's all about. For me, it's, you don't want a great big boat. And in the old days, you know, the parties, the Hiscox, uh, the Roth, and uh, the Smeatons, and, uh, and Beth Leonard, you know, so they're just couples. There's a hello. They, they, they're, they're, not, they're not saying it because they're more politically correct than me. But they don't, do, they don't do that. Nowadays, there's these bigger boats, these you know high twenty thousand pounders, these high forties, and you know they're paying, paying, taking paying guests. You know, uh, uh, Novax and uh, John and Niels and a couple others. You know, they're trying to make a way in life, but that's not because that's the best way to go. I, I, consider the source. They're selling you a deal. No, it's a two-man job or two. Two skipper jump. And there she is, there's my Poppy. <laughs> Does she look like Poppy the sailor sailor girl to you? Like look at those forearms and uh, bulging muscles and physical <laughs> Action man, action. When you finally get over the Poppy, it feels so good. It feels so good. And, uh, and there she is, she's always working with a big smile, a little action shot. Love it. Love her, love the whole thing. That's the way you want to be. Like it's uh it's it's not hard. It's you know, all these tests and stuff, it's just go out there, do it, right? Like, you know, it's there's a lot of nitty gritty little details. Squirt bottle there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. They got this little bumblebee. There's me. That may not be the most beautiful thing, but no offense, Ted Nels. But that is in that is in, in that is in, in New Cahiba. They got to be a, a drone somewhere around. You know, they got a little shadow to make her look older. Well, that wasn't yeah. me. That was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go to sea and you go to sea. You know, what are you saving yourself for, right? Like, you know, I'm going to be gone in 20 years back. No way to cover. <laughs> There's the guy, Scuffers the Sailor Dog. My children, two of them are here this evening, have given me so many things in life, so many beautiful things, and this is one of them, Scuffers the Sailor Dog. I love it. If you haven't got the book, you got to get it. It was born the same year I was, Scuffers the Sailor Dog. Born at sea in the teeth of a gale, Scuffers was... No, the sailor was a dog and Scuffers was his name. Now, that's a guy. That is the guy. Doesn't that look like me? He's like leaning forward. There's nobody else around. He's happy as Larry. He's way In fact, our next boat's going to have one. I've got it off. Just like that. We've got that right. Anyhow, and not only that, we've probably even got a, a spyglass. Binoculars are for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're for aircraft carriers. You know, you stand there with the binoculars on a sailboat. Like, forget it. You don't need binoculars. You were selling us a bill of goods, boys and girls. But spyglass, that's where it goes. Spyglass. That's where you can always put the eyes you really want to see it or not. Right? I got a spyglass. Thanks to my little buddy, where the beer is, and got me out of my own spyglass. Getting closer and closer to the ego ideal. When I'm dead and gone, I hope you think of me like that rather than, you know, well, you're almost putting scurry. somebody asleep. <laughs> What's that? So, anyhow, it covers the silver dog. Okay, now, this is the one little video. We got two videos. And a lot of you have seen this one before, but I love this video. I never get tired of it. Of, of, of seeing Poppy on, on film. She, you hang in there, she comes near the end and it's, it, she's really beautiful. But I think it captures an essence of what's going on and it shows the bucket. If you look very close to the bottom, you'll see the bucket. Very handy, very handy. It is so wonderful. And you know, there's another, so much BS out there, right? 
I know it's important to be able to, to you know, uh, turn, turn a boat around and come back and pick up your, if you're, your cold person if they fall in the water. But have a look at the water. It's on the starboard aft corner, two-thirds through this video. You'll see the water just has a little flicker of what's going on. Imagine yourself turning that little wee tear wind around and then throwing everything overboard, pushing the man over button, finding the key, starting the engine, turn the boat around, come on back, and then snuggle up to that person when you find them and just pull them apart. Imagine that. Yeah, <laughs> it's never going to happen. I got news for you. Stay on board. You, you know, the, it's going to be really bad, right? And, uh, and, uh, and uh, Evans uh, stars anger, you know, best husband. And uh, somewhere on his blog already, he said, he figures, he figures, my reference is two thirds of people that go overboard go overboard from uh, standing working, not moving along the deck. Because I think when you're moving on the deck, you're scared shitless. You go along, you're being very careful. And then you get there and you get busy, and your other hand gets going. And, and, and if, you're, if you're kneeling, he says, you're kneeling, you're much safer than when you're standing, obviously. But, and, and, and uh, standing, still, working is when, when you go over. Two thirds of traveling. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> unless. You're prepared. Like, you'll see what you're doing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a little video, and it shows a little bit of the dynamics that's going on. And it's it's just one of those days. It's probably one of the few days. It's, it's almost barely fits to the top, because it's not really trading and sailing. We're at the end of the trade. It's really in the variables. We're south of uh, the Tropic of Capricorn. We're about 32 south. And we're coming down. I do a lot of chit-chat in this thing. Hang in there. And, uh, and then and turn the water and go up. But uh, what was I going to say? I apologize for all the adjectives. You don't need any adjectives. I put all these adjectives in there. I was like, sober as a judge, high as a kite. It's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> it's how you want to spend your day. This is it. And the other little thing was what I was going to say was it. Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah. And the, and, the, and the southern equatorial current is not tidal. I got a little tongue tight. It's not tidal, so don't walk, go off thinking it's tidal. Next one. Click. Now I'll find it. Here comes the smoke. Real big whiteout. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Madagascar is that away, and um, we just jived at the uh, having run down on a port uh, tack up, uh, at about 245 degrees true on average from Mauritius. And now we're, at, okay, we're underneath the. Uh, now we just cleared uh, Madagascar lower Cape jive, and now we're going to run up, we're running up. Uh, on a favorable tack, uh, about 280290 true, to uh, put a little uh, water underneath us because we're going to be crossing the uh, New England Canal. As of now, we've just entered the Mozambique Channel, and so now we're going to have a we got a, 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 a tidal southern equatorial flood current driving us to the west. And uh, soon, by the end of today, we're going to have the Mozambique Channel, uh, uh, Mozambique Current, or turn the Buddhist Current, coming south. So we want to get, we want to take the most of this, this westward current, and we're cutting across it. And then we get on the other side. We'll be getting it. We'll be north enough so that we can ride down to the Mozambique, and then uh, Buddhist Current to Richards Bay. It's, you can see, it's, it's very uh, boisterous. We've got, uh, you can't maybe see, but there's your four, four plus meter swells uh, from the southeast, and uh, lots of white caps, and uh, it's just a rocket. We got the trysail, storm staysail, and the full roller for a jib, and we're rocketing along at six and a half to uh, eight knots, compared uh, to about a half knot to a knot. And uh, it's very boisterous. Monty's uh, got it. You can see it's a little bit of weather down here. Nicely balanced. You know, here's center. So Matt Lawrence got a little bit of weather out holding us there. And um, we just we 
just bows you. So uh, there it goes. See, there we are. A little bit of weather help. Nice. Nice. Woo. We're just going to go like crazy. It's all good. Yeah, there's not fish. We've got blood. It's my blood. There you go. And uh, it's good. Fishing season is closed. The galley is uh, tentatively open. And uh, we hope this is... Uh, we got seven, we've got 847 miles, it's Mauritius, we got another 750 to go, and we want to get there uh, with a weather window by this time next week, otherwise we have to keep two out in the middle of the channel and wait for the next one to go by. So we're never racing, but you know, we're hurrying along here because we don't want to miss this chance to get down the African coast. What, there. what day is it? What date is it today? Uh, for the fourth time, this is October oh. the 4th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friday. I'm going to take rock. Yeah, of course. You see, we can go to our harness on. This is the Magnus Murphy. Yeah. And because uh, I'm out here by myself, there's so much spray going on. I got a rain coat on. Not for the rain, but for the spray. And uh, and it's uh, it's 10 in the morning, 10 10:20 10, in the morning, and uh, it's just flying. It's just absolutely amazing. Surfing down these big waves. You can't see that one. Is like you know, I was that was four fucking hits straight up there. We're up above it now. We're getting here a little swish. Let me get this when I come the next one. for this lake. So we've done about 10,000 nautical miles in uh, several long lakes, and this is the last long one. We did uh, 1,200 to uh, Madawaki from New Zealand, and then we did through uh, Madawaki, then we did 1,800 across the Coral Sea, and then uh, 400 through the Coral, uh, Great Barrier Reef, and then or 200, and then 2,600 to Copus from, uh, from Thursday Island, and then 2,000 and 400 to Mauritius, and then from Mauritius to Richard Bay is uh, uh, 1600, I believe. So it's all good. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. Okay, this is a postscript for October the 4th. Uh, we just turned the camera out a little bit forward. I'm going to slide over here to the lead rail. Put rear end down. Oh. Hi, the apparent. Apparent, hang on. Pause for a moment. Okay, there we are. I had to move my tether. I was over there. Now I'm over here. And now I'm looking. Okay, so you can see here we got the trisole pole. Its sheet is right here by my hand. Right here. I can't even hold it. It's just a Powered up, that tiny little sail I'm sure it's fighting. And then beyond that, you can see the full jib out there dancing around. And then in the meantime, you can see the space right there. Others, you know, like I love frost, but that's way better. It's old. 